it's Jessie V and welcome back to my missing series. I absolutely love this series and I'm so excited because there are so many missing person cases out there and so many of them are mysterious and paranormal and weird and those are the ones that I'm going to be covering. Things that could be deemed as supernatural missing person cases. So today we're going to be talking about some more people who seem to just vanish in thin air and a lot of these cases actually happen all the way back in the 1700s. So it's not like a new thing. People have been disappearing in thin air for a very long time. And a lot of these cases are so intriguing and so bizarre that it kind of leaves you scratching your head. So before I get into this video, just wanted to remind you that today is the very last day that you're ever going to see this backdrop behind me. So if you would like to win it, all you have to do is subscribe to my Vlogs channel. The link is down below in the description and go comment on the video titled How Bulldogs Open Gifts and then you're good to go. That's all you have to do. Two steps. Anyways though, you guys probably know the whole thing by now. So we're going to start this video. So mysterious disappearances aren't new. For whatever reason, some people just seem to vanish without a trace, never to be seen again. But there is also a more stranger type of disappearance, and that is the type where people vanish in full view of others. So where there's witnesses watching someone literally disappear. These are the cases in which people were there one moment and gone the next, seeming to have just literally faded from existence, leaving us just baffled and questioning what the heck just happened. So we're gonna take a look at the history of some of the more serious cases. And the first one happened sometime in the 1760s. It was in the English town of Shepton Mallet. There lived an elderly man in his 70s by the name of Owen Parfit. He was a very, very sick man and was unable to walk around or really do anything on his own. He pretty much spent his days completely bedridden. It was really unfortunate. So the only help he really got was from his sister. So he would either lie in bed all day or she would help him go out and sit on the porch so he can actually experience being outside, seeing the sun. But he, all he could do was just sit there because he literally couldn't move. And according to the story, one day Owen was sitting in his usual spot by the door where his sister had been keeping an eye on him as usual. But on this day, the weather was really, really chilly. So Owen had covered himself completely with a coat. So his sister was inside the house preparing a meal and she realized it was getting a little bit cold outside. So she thought that she would go back outside and bring him in. But the moment she stepped out onto the porch, all that was left on his seat was a coat. And this was just really bizarre to her because he couldn't move a muscle on his own. And she had just been out there watching him moments ago. He was just lying there with the coat over top of him doing nothing. She walked in for I think two minutes and came back out and all that was left was a coat. Since he was unable to walk on his own, she at first thought that perhaps a neighbor had moved him inside. But after looking around and asking everybody, the old man was nowhere to be found and the neighbors denied having moved him. And even they had seen him sitting there all day. So it's just, it was such a mystery and was so bizarre. Owen's sister searched the area, but Owen was nowhere to be found. And it was also baffling that he could have gotten so far so soon in front of so many people with the inability to walk because they searched miles and miles around the property. He would not have been able to get anywhere. So his disappearance remains a mystery to this day. The next very serious case was in the 1800s. It was on the night of November 25th, 1809. A man named Benjamin Bathurst was on his way to Berlin. On the way there, Bathurst made a stop at the town of Perleburg. He wanted to get some new horses and he also wanted to have a hot meal. When the horses were ready and he had finished his meal, he excused himself and told his assistant he would go out and wait in the carriage. But when the assistant went out to the carriage a few moments after, the door of the carriage was open, but Bathurst was nowhere to be seen. And there was also no sign of where he could have gone because he was there just a few seconds before. So a massive search was immediately put together, complete with dogs scouring the woods, house to house searches, and thorough searching of the nearby river, but nothing could be found. So he was just never seen again. So it's so interesting how these people were seen like two seconds and it's like once you turn your head and look back again, the person's just gone. But sometimes not only did the person disappear, but they disappeared right in front of someone else's eyes, literally fading away in plain sight. And that's what this next case is about. It was in 1815 at a Prussian prison. There was a prisoner by the name of Diderici and he was doing a 10 year sentence there. So one day he was being led through the exercise yard. He was covered in chains in the line of a bunch of other prisoners. So they were being watched very carefully by all of the guards there. All of the prisoners were in one area in a line walking, but then something very strange happened. According to the other prisoners and the 
guards, Diderisi began to literally fade away. His body gradually became transparent until finally his empty chains clattered to the ground. And this was in front of everybody looking at him. They were all completely baffled. They were stunned in place. According to the case, 30 people watched him disappear. So it wasn't like one crazy prisoner who was like on drugs or something who was like, hey, I saw him disappear. No, 30 people, including the guards, saw this. So people just started to claim that it was an act of God and they kind of just left it at that. There was another case that happened in 1873. It was in Leamington Spa, England. There was a shoemaker by the name of James Warson. He was just out with his friends having a good time when he decided to make a bet with them. He told them that he could run with without stopping all the way to Coventry, which was a full 16 miles away. His friends did not believe he could do this. They were all like, there's no way you can run all that way. But they decided to take him up on his bet. So they let him run 16 miles and all of the friends got into a horse-drawn carriage to go behind him. Warson ran for a few miles without any problems and his friends were starting to think that they might actually lose the bet. But then he tripped on something on the road. The story goes that Warson fell forward but never hit the ground. Instead, he completely vanished out of existence right before his friend's eyes. A police search turned up nothing, and this seems to be another case of someone who just spontaneously ceased to exist in full view of eyewitnesses. Imagine being those friends in that moment. You have your friend just like running in front of you, suddenly he goes to trip, and then as he's falling, he just disappears. Now we're going to talk about one of a more recent case. When I say recent, I mean 90 1959, but it's a lot more recent than the 1700s. In April of 1959, a man named Bruce Campbell was driving by car with his wife to go visit their son who lived really far away. At one point on their long journey, they decided to take a break and go and sleep at a hotel. It was a motel in Jacksonville, Illinois. The couple was exhausted from driving all day, so they promptly retired for the night. But when Mrs. Campbell woke up in the morning and looked beside her, her husband had completely vanished from the bed. At first, she wasn't very concerned because she thought, oh, maybe he just got up early in the morning and went somewhere to get coffee or whatever. But what was really strange was that her husband's clothes were just lying in the spot where he was sleeping and he had gone. His suitcases were still in the room. Everything just seemed very eerie. Additionally, all of his personal belongings and even his wallet with all of his money were still precisely where he had left them. So if he had gone out to get breakfast or coffee, you'd think he would have brought his wallet or something. Something. Even after an investigation by authorities, Bruce Campbell was never found. Oh, that's just so creepy to me. I'm just imagining like going to a hotel with Ty and waking up and he's not there, but his clothes are there and all of his stuff's there. Like that's just like... That's my worst fear. There's another very similar case involving a couple that happened in 1975. It was when Jackson and Martha Wright were driving from New Jersey to New York City. The two were driving through the Lincoln Tunnel when they noticed that there was a large amount of condensation on their windows. And so much was piling up on their windows that they could barely see it all when they were driving. So Jackson decided to pull over to the side of the road so they could begin wiping off all of the fog on their windows. It was at this point that Jackson says he turned to see how his wife was doing and found that she was completely gone. In fact, the woman was nowhere to be seen, even though she had been there just moments before. And Jackson was saying that he didn't hear or see anything unusual. There was actually no cars around. No one was around. He didn't hear her scream or jump. She was literally there. He turned and looked back and she was gone. It would have been impossible for her to get very far in such a brief amount of time. And yes, this does sound very suspicious on Jackson. Jackson's part when he went to the police to talk about this, but the police investigated this for such a long time and found nothing. So Martha Wright's disappearance still remains a mystery to this day, just like all of these other cases. And the last case we're going to talk about today is actually one from 2007. So this is the most recent missing person case I think I've ever done in this series. I try and really keep it before the 2000s just because I want to stay respectful to families and I don't want to ever talk about something too new that could still be in the works. So I like more like historical cases, but today because it relates to this video, we're going to talk about one that happened in 2007. So this happened on July 8th, 2007, and it's about someone who seemed to have just stepped off the face of the earth. 55 year old Barbara Bollock was out on a hiking trip with her friend Jim Ramaker. They were in Montana's Bitterroot Mountains. They weren't walking right beside each other, but she was only about six feet behind him. At one point along their scenic hike, Jim claimed that he stopped to admire 
admire the scenery. And when he turned to look behind him after a mere minute, Barbara was nowhere to be seen. And it's so weird because you can hear her footsteps walking behind him just as normal. So while he was looking at the scenery, he could still hear her behind him. But all of a sudden, after a mere few seconds, he stopped hearing her walk and he looked around and she was gone. No screaming, no sign of her running away, literally just not there anymore. So as usual, the police did a complete search of the area and they also found no reason to suspect that Jim had done anything to her and no leads on this case have ever been found. They also didn't find any evidence that she had been there like her shoes, clothing, nothing was around. They couldn't find anything. I just find all of these cases to be so strange and bizarre. It'd be really interesting to like talk about cases next time maybe where the person actually shows up years later because I have come across a lot of those and those probably creep me out even more when people return and either have no idea what happened to them or they have really strange stories. So if you guys want me to talk about cases like those, definitely let me know. But there are so many things I can discuss with you guys. So I hope you are enjoying this series and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!